Both flip everything. Ow, right in the finger. We're gonna keep that guy since I dropped him on his head. If you're anything like me, you've been pacing around, counting down the days until walleye season opens here in Minnesota. So to kill the time, we're sneaking out and catching some panfish and crappies. Seriously, crankbaits, x wraps. Now we came out here and caught quite a few fish using little 32nd ounce hot screw jigs. Lots of little ones, some borderline keepers, a couple good ones too. Great way to catch numbers of fish. <laughs> But if you want to fish a little bit more aggressively, bass fish for crappies, I guess you could call it, you're not going to catch as many fish, but when you do, they're usually the right ones. And throwing these tiny X wraps is an absolute blast. There's two sizes that come into play. This is a number six, eighth ounce, super castable actually, even on a windy day like today. The other size that comes into play is a number four. It's an inch and a half versus two and a half inches, a sixteenth of an ounce versus an eighth of an ounce. Now I would say you'll definitely catch way more fish on this. It's harder to get it deeper if your pre-spawn crappies are still out on that edge. This one's more of a two to three foot deep bait, but this bigger guy here, I've been able to hit six feet deep today and you'd be surprised, this seven inch crappie, too small to keep even, has no problem trying to take this thing down. But it's a fun way to cover water when you've got pre-spawn crappies. Like right now, the situation is just perfect. This is a big three, four, five foot weed flat. The deeper side of it is seven, eight, nine feet with cabbage weeds kind of spread along here. And we're still pre-spawn. The, the water temp shot up to 55 degrees with that last warm day. But it's just enough to pull fish in and have them scattered across this whole weed flat instead of being piled in specific spots. And it's a really fun way to cast and cover water across that weed flat and just try to get a bigger bite. And what I do is I cast as far as I can. I usually position myself up from where I want to cast so you can bomb with the wind. It's just so much easier. I'll do three or four kind of steady pumps just to get that bait diving down to that four to six foot range. Then I kill it and it's just a twitch, twitch, pause, slow roll it, kill it, twitch, twitch, pause. And most of the time they're gonna hit that thing on the pause, but it's a really fun way to actually catch some bigger than average crappies. Switch things up, do things differently until we can actually go target real fish. <laughs> 